The engine I have here is a Magnum XL91 RFS engine that I just recently uh, acquired from a local modeler. It was also the subject of Volume 9 Box to the Bench Review if you want to see uh, more information on that. I actually ran this engine first and now I'm going to tear it down. So let's get right to it here. Uh, this engine ran okay. Uh, it didn't seem like it was really producing the power that it should after seeing what a Magnum 91 with a 14.6 prop should do. And if you look in that video, this muffler was really, really, really carboned up. I let it soak overnight in LA's Totally Awesome Cleaner and then I took sandpaper. Very fine grit sandpaper to it just to get it looking like this. <clears throat> it's yet to be determined if I'm going to spend any more time <clears throat> on that or not. Uh, like I said, this engine ran pretty well, but not quite as well as I think it should. So, wow. I'm going to take a look inside here and see if we can uh, ascertain how much, <clears throat> excuse me, how much runtime is on this engine. Guess as I normally do. Intake. Valves look nice and clean. This engine's got really, really good compression. The prop washer's got a couple little marks on it, but overall it's not too bad. This is not the stock uh, prop washer. This is a drive washer. I can't remember what they call that. This is a prop washer. This is not the stock prop washer. But it <clears throat> does a good job. It's big, bulky, heavy. So, um, <clears throat> let's just take this carb off here real quick. We'll see if this intake manifold survives. This was not a blue head edition, so I'm not really sure how old it is, but it does have this pressure feed here, which I am not a fan of at all. I had a Magnum 70 with that, and I really didn't care for that engine. But, we'll see. Judging by the way these screws feel, it doesn't really feel like this thing's ever been apart before. That gasket is probably not going to survive. It doesn't look so good. But you know what I want to do first here is rotate that through and get to the top dead center. Okay. I'm just feeling the valve lash. Feels acceptable, I guess. It's, uh, I don't have my dealer gauge here, but it doesn't feel way out of the ordinary. Can't recall if that's a gold plug I installed on this engine or not. I'll have to check my video and see. I think I did put a new glow plug in this or a different <coughs> glow plug. Now yeah, all these fasteners are really gripping these wrenches, so that's what's kind of leading me to believe that maybe this thing's never been torn apart before. Okay, let's look at these push rods. Not symmetrical, I mean symmetrical, no tapered end, nothing like that, so. This looks interesting. Hang on a second here, let me get my magnifier. These push rods are either damaged or different. <coughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to really show this too well. Try. Okay, as I was saying just before my battery died, I'm looking at these push rods with a magnifier on. And they look different to me. One of 
them looks like it's got a little bit more of a rounded tip on it. And this one's pretty much flat. So, I'll have to take a much closer look at these. And measure them. See if they're the right length. They don't look right to me. These push rods do not look right. Either one end is smashed or something, but... So, have it noted, push rods don't look right. Let's finish taking his head off. Push rod tubes. Okay. There's the top of the piston. Doesn't look like there's much runtime on this thing. Maybe this engine just isn't broken in yet. Looks like here may have been a little bit of a leak. Maybe this one head wasn't sealed properly. <clears throat> the all important valve inspection. Let's see what this looks like. Not bad. Again, you can see where it doesn't look like maybe these screws are torqued all the way. They didn't feel all that overly tight. So this is going to be, I don't know how if I'm going to go so far as to pull the bearings out of this engine. But I am going to clean up the parts that I do take apart. The bearings in this engine feel fine, so I really don't know if that's going to be necessary. But that push rod thing is of interest to me. Wow, look at that. Look at that fit. You think that's a good fit or what? Me just pulling this back case off is drawing that piston down. <clears throat> okay, so I did run this engine. I think I ran it with 10% caster. So there's quite a bit of oil residue in here. Let me see it starting to drip out of here. This engine looks like it's in pretty fine shape though, aside from the, what I'm seeing, the strangeness with the push rod. Push rods there, I'm going to check those out a little more closely. And I may have to pull these tappets out, but uh, I don't know. I'm going to see if I can use a piece of wood here. And I have to go heat this thing up to get this cylinder to come out because I really do want to see if I can disengage that crank, <clears throat> the connecting rod from the crank pin, or if it's going to be. I see a hole here, so it could be one of those deals like an OS engine where you have to extract the thing from there. So I'm going to take this outside and heat it up a little bit and see if I can't use. I've got a piece of plastic here. I can use my plastic sputter to kind of push that. Actually, I think I may have just got it. It's coming up. <coughs> that thing's coming right out now. No heat required. On the bottom of that sleeve. Oops. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. Yeah, it's got that little thing there. I got a funny feeling this isn't going to just want to come off of here. Oh, hey, look at that. 
Holy moly, when you're lucky, you're lucky. I guess maybe they redesigned this thing so that that piston will just drop straight out of there. That's cool. Very cool. And it's also built like the ASP where it looks like this side of the hole is smaller than this one so you can't push the push rod out that way. So this end was facing out, so I'll note that. Which is funny. That's the side that's chamfered. Okay, so it goes like that. Okay, cool. Now I'll get my bearing or my little terminal puller and see if I can't manage to get that thing to pop off. <laughs> 